Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to The Dead Linger. About six or seven months ago I did a video called The Dead Linger one year later after my initial look at the early access game that had a phenomenally successful Kickstarter and uh, a pretty successful launch on Steam which was then found to be one of the most broken, terrible early access games I've ever seen ever. Uh, it falls into one of those just like it's a survival game that's trying to cash in but unlike a lot of the other um, survival games on early access. For some reason, the devs keep trying to make this game work. They've changed, they went from building their own engine with a completely randomly generated world. Uh, once they realized they didn't have the skill to do that, they moved to Unity. Game was broken as all hell, uh, with random world generation, so then they went static map. Game still was broken after all the Unity updates. Then they decided they're gonna switch to Unreal Engine 4. Now, I did say, uh, in the last video that I did a few months ago, that once the opt-in beta or alpha or whatever you want to call it for the uh, Unreal Engine 4 came out, I would definitely take a look at it. Now, you can still play the Unity version of the game right now. This is an opt-in alpha, but the Unity version, as seen in the last video, is so friggin' broken, it is unplayable. So my hopes is that this version, even though it's opt-in, is at least playable because they are charging $20 for this game still on Steam. It's one of those games that for some reason sticks out for me because it was one of those crowdfunded games that fails to live up to the hype. Uh, I do check up on the forums every so often and for the most part people are really mad about it and they rightfully should be, but there are still people who defend this game tooth and nail after three or so years of failed development. The developers st still are making the game, I don't think they, they can't be selling very many of these games, but still, uh, if this game looks good and plays well in the Unreal Engine 4, I will be excited to see that this is going to be um, something that, you know, maybe can turn into something. Maybe there is still hope for this game. Now I did load up a test world and uh, to see how well it worked. We'll talk about it when we get into the game. So this is going to be test world 2 and uh, the seed will be 2255 in case you guys want to play. Uh, and we're going to check out what the game looks like, how it plays, how it functions. Again. I don't want to hear the excuse they're changing engines because that excuse has been used now twice uh, and they're still selling this for $20. The Unity version that you can play right now is unplayably broken. So this better be at least playable because they're still charging $20 for it. And again, I'm aware it's opt-in, it's no excuse. So here we go, automatically uh, you can see the, the, the things, who hmm, okay, alright, here we are, we're in the game. Um. All right, let's move. Let's move. I mean, notably, the game does look slightly better because it's not in Unity. Okay, we still got glitching. All right, so, oh god. Zombies still float, and they walk at you with a very, very glitchy kind of walk. They still clip through the ground. Um, how's combat? Well, I'm clipping through my own arm. Right. So, so if you punch the zombie... There's just no animation, they just kind of glide onward. There, oh, oh, okay, and he just falls through the ground. Oh, good, so far so good. That is actually exactly how the game plays in Unity. So thus far, no improvement. It's almost like, can I crouch? This is actually raised up. Look at this, this road is actually raised above this ground. So when the zombie died, he just fell through and landed on whatever this is. Oh, my lord. And everything's janky as fuck. Uh, is there... Alright, let's fuck around with the graphics a little bit. Maybe it's just the graphic settings on are really, really low. Um, let's see if we can get somewhere safe. Looks safe enough to me. Now, I'm not gonna really critique the world, because I know the world is being built by hand, so that's not a big deal for me. Um, we are on... Everything's on high. Let's put everything on epic. Everything's on epic. We'll apply the changes, and uh, why are we on 1600 by 1900? We'll put it on 1920 uh, by 1080. Hopefully, everything's still being recorded. If not, I'll have to resync it up. Uh, we do want to keep this. Let's see. Does everything look better now? So we're on epic quality, 1900 by uh, 1920 by 1080, and okay. The game is re-rendering back to what just happened. Did I just go down in resolution? So the game automatically... So this happened to me in the test world, and I was afraid it was going to be the case. Um, I can only stay on 1900 by 12... 1920 by 1080, rather, 
for a little bit of time before the game automatically re-renders itself down to uh, 1920 by uh, 1600 by 9 900 or whatever. Look at this. Why is this like this? Why does that happen? What is this? Oh Lord Almighty! I've I've seen better looking games on Unity, and it's it's such a shame too, right? Because there are games out there like Unturned that are free, that are voxel based, that are better survival games, zombie survival games than this is, and it's been on in development by less people in less time than this one. It just it blows my mind. There are still people that defend this game. All right, let's continue. So the zombies still move like janky fucks. They float, they collapse through the floor. When you punch, which is a, a horrendous animation, mind, mind you, um, they uh, they kind of just stand there. They don't even react. Again, I aware this is an opt- Okay. All right. Oh, good. So, hey, what's up, buddy? How you doing? How's that floor treating you? Good? Can you even move? Oh, okay, yep, you can glitch. That sounds good. All right. Mind you, uh, you can still play the Unity one. It's as broken as this. It's incredibly broken. Um... This is really broken. Oh, just missing textures all around. That's fine. Maybe they just haven't implemented them yet. Oh, this game just looks bad. It just looks bad. Like, that's the problem. All right. Uh, can I actually, can I close this for a second? The door isn't even attached. Perfect. Good. And the zombies, like, can't even move properly. They can't even move properly. What, what, look. If this is like an alpha build that you want to release to like sell your game or whatever and you just like want to give it for free that's cool but this is twenty dollars man this is twenty dollars and you've been trying to port it to eu f the, the unreal engine for like almost a year now this building isn't even lined up this building isn't even lined up i'm curious what uh how much of the stuff that's in this game and i, I might have to take a look after um is just unreal assets that come with the unreal engine when you end up picking it up what, but what's blowing my mind as well is how, like, janky everything looks. Like, it still looks like very, very jagged edges. And I'm running everything on Epic. Now, granted, I'm running at 60 frames a second or more, which is awesome. And I'm happy about that. That's great. I'm, I'm really happy everything's running at 60 frames a second. But I better be running on 60 frames a second when, uh, when there's just... It looks so terrible. Oh, early access games. I don't let's keep looking. I guess let's take a look and see what else is going on My stomach is growling. I mean, I'm not gonna worry about the survival stuff because there's not really much to play They get the world is barren. I just don't understand why they just don't take the game off of Steam for now And just if they really think they have the skill to develop this game Which you know, I doubt at this point, but if they honestly think they have the skill to develop this game then take it off Steam and put some time go radio silent for like a year and put massive time into this game and come back in a year with something that's functioning and playable because right now we have just a reskinned version of the uh of the unity version of the game that's all it is it's it's that's all this is it's the same freaking game with less map to explore it's just as buggy it's just as broken the zombies don't even work. This house just has no windows and doors, apparently. Uh, it's on the e like this. This does. This is not promising at all. And if you're one of those people who be like, "Well, you develop a game, Mathis," I'm I because those exist. Mind you, just because I can't develop game does not mean I'm not allowed to critique a game. If that was the case, every single person who uh, okay, we got a weapon now. Every single person who is a video game cr uh, critic. Should probably, for the most part, probably shouldn't be critiquing games because I guarantee you most of them cannot create a game. There is mild improvements like the bathrooms and stuff, like all the textures and the walls are loading. That didn't happen in the Unity version, I guess. But it's still the same broken, buggy game, and they're still charging twenty dollars for this. And it just it it blows me away. It blows me away. It's nuts. So we have a, a gun. Can I actually equip this? No. Can I? Where to go? Okay, it's here. Boom. So it looks like the fire poker just glitched, and is just gonna sit there. Um, can I just do that? Oh, good. So yeah, this is working fantastically. My fire poker is now my rifle. Let's take a look at how effective my rifle fire poker. Uh, I'm, I'm basically MacGyver is what, I, is what I'm breaking it down to. So you might be asking, why are you going back to this, Mantis? Because this is one of the big problems with early access. And it's not just 
this game. This game is just my prime example because they keep trying to shove this down your throat saying, look, we know what we're doing when you clearly have no idea what the fuck you're doing. Um, you raised a ton of money. You squandered it all, I assume. It's all gone now. And I can't imagine you're, very, you're selling many of these. I don't even know how the studio is still open. But... All right, so it's the same, it's the same thing. It just they just go down faster. So it's the same thing as swinging at with my fists, and the zombies are slow enough where there's no real reason to be using a weapon. Hey, at least I'm stopping the zombie from being in glitched hell, right? Like that's that's good. Ugh, oh, man, this is this is twenty dollars, man. Yes, it's opt-in. I get it, but the Unity bro, the version that you're allowed to play right now for twenty dollars that automatically downloads is as broken as this. Maybe maybe even I don't know. They're equally broken. They're equally broken games that's been on Steam for like a year. I think I died. I am dead. I I have died. Boy, what a crying shame. What a crying shame. I, I, and uh, again, this is just an example. There are so many early access games out there. I wish Steam would do some curation, man. And for those who say the game is on track now, because there's a lot of those in the forums, like, this is it, the game is on track, they're on Unreal Engine 4, they're finally gonna do it. Oh god, I just spawned next to my dead body. They're finally gonna do it. You know, it's gonna work now, they, they know what they're doing, they have an engine that works. This is what you release? This thing, this, how does this get, I like how I still have the gun in my hand, by the way, even though I don't actually have a gun. How does this, how do you think this is okay for people to opt in and play? It's not okay. It's not okay. Um... It's, it's freaking broken as hell. And, uh, okay. I just picked up my body. That's fine. That's fine. There we go. Back to the fire poker machine gun combo. I don't know what else to say. Now, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the only, the only bit of the game they have done. Guys, you shouldn't release this as an opt-in beta. People are going to play this and go, what the fuck? This is not playable. This is not playable. You want to see, I, I mean, I get it. There's a, but there's a so many survival games that are that have been in early access for years but some of them are doing it right and i will forever point at project zomboid as the game uh that you can poke you can kind of check out and see like it's been early access for years but it constantly has major changes it functions it works um arc is another one that that keeps having updates rust is an amazingly good game now after being in early access for a year is so good like nowadays rust is a phenomenal game and that's after a really shaky kind of early onset. Like, the game is great. It's a really good survival game. There's so many survival games you could play. Uh, Unturned is another free one that is better than this. Um, there's so many. There's so many. So, games, early access games that do this. I guess I'll give it to the developers if they just, they, they just don't quit, man. They just don't quit. But, man, if you think you can do it, if you think you have the skill to make a survival game, uh, like, you have the, the coding skill to make a survival game. And I'm talking to the people who are developing this game. Please, take it off Steam, develop it for a year, come back. What the fuck is going on in here? Like, it's so broken. This game is so broken. The Deadlinger, everybody! Still broken as fuck. Unreal Engine 4 or not. Avoid it. Early access hell is a real thing. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.